for Nature Specialties and I'm here today to talk to you about Froth Tails Frothing Shampoo. So you might know all about frothing, you might say, hey, what is frothing? That's what we're here to talk to you about. So frothing is the act of taking a shampoo and just applying it to the dog with the suds forward. So you're not really using the water dilution method, like it's sudsy and frothing as you put it onto the dog. And some of the reasons that we like to do this are to save water. So maybe you're a mobile groomer, maybe you're somewhere where you have a high water bill and you just want to save on that water, frothing is great for you. The other thing I like about frothing is it's fantastic for those coats that are hard to penetrate with water. You know the ones I'm talking about, you're trying, you know, trying to get the water to go through the coat and it just won't and you feel like you need to get that water through the coat before you apply the shampoo. Well with frothing, you don't need to worry about that. You can apply the froth directly to the coat, wet or dry. On some of those really hard to penetrate dirty coats, I prefer to even do it dry because it just breaks apart that dirt so quickly and allows you to do your job that much faster. And why does this happen? Well, it's the actual bubbles or froth that allows the shampoo to lift the dirt and oil off the hair shaft, off the skin and get it away from the hair shaft and skin. So sometimes when you're shampooing a dog, you might notice that it's on the second shampooing that you get more suds and lather. That's because the dirt and the oil is really beating down that suds on the first application. So by frothing, you don't really have to worry about that. The frothing just takes care of itself because this shampoo is especially formulated to produce great amount of froth that are just going to break through that dirt and oil. The other thing I love about froth tails is that it's made with olive oil and avocado oil. So the olive oil penetrates the hair shaft and allows the avocado oil with its really high fat content to get in there and actually strengthen the hair. So whether you choose to froth with it or not froth with it, Froth Tails is a fantastic hair strengthening shampoo. It comes in two great scents, Tangerine Gin Fizz and strawberry rosé. So fantastic smelling shampoos. We're used to that from Nature Specialties. All their products smell so great. Um, actually the Tangerine Gin Fizz, I think smells like an orange cream sickle, so it's kind of my favorite. So this is, I'm gonna show you two different ways to use it today, and then a little demo of the froth actually on a dog. So here um, in a cup, we have four ounces of water. And because this shampoo can be, be diluted 50 to one, I'm gonna show you what that actually looks at looks like. So 50 to 1 is actually half a teaspoon in four ounces of water. So this is actually a teaspoon um, measuring spoon but the thing is is that you can never get all the shampoo out of it when you pour it in there so a lot of it's still stuck to the edge of the spoon. And then I just have a regular latte frother. Um, sometimes if you see us at a trade show we might get you one of these if you buy some gallons of shampoo but any latte frother is going to work. Again half a teaspoon in four ounces of water and I simply stick it in there and just see immediately how quickly this foams and froths right up. Like in a matter of seconds, it's towards the top of the cup. Um, you know, I can make sure that it just keeps, whoa, I'm gonna stop now. And it just has this super thick, thick, high foam. And it's really just going to penetrate that hair shaft. And you can see quickly how, um, one teaspoon in four ounces of water makes 32 ounces of froth in a few seconds. And I could have made more except my cup was too small and I didn't want to do that. So this froth is just thick. It's going to get into that dog's coat, penetrate the coat, lift that dirt and oil away and smell fantastic. So what if you don't want to use a latte frother? My other favorite way to do it is here, again, I have four ounces of water. This is just your normal everyday protein shaker cup and it has the wire whisk ball in it. And I'm gonna try the strawberry rosé this time because why not? I'm gonna put half a teaspoon in there. And again, it doesn't all come out of the measuring spoon. And quickly put the lid. This is the hardest part for me, the lid. And we're just gonna, shake it up and literally shook it for less than 10 seconds. Look, it's already big, thick and frothy. This is usually when I get the shampoo right in my face and it just pours right in there. That really thick froth um, goes right through the coat, penetrates the coat and 
I have to even stop right now. Um, two fantastic ways to use froth tails, to use the frothing technique. And you know, if you say to me, look, I don't like to froth on all my breeds. I don't really want to have extra bottles or gallons of shampoo in my shop. Froth tails all by itself, no matter how you decide to dilute it, whether it is one of these two frothing methods or your regular dilution method is a great 50 to one dilution that has fantastic properties with the avocado oil and the olive oil and dilutes 50 to one. So you can't really miss with froth tails. So next time you want a shampoo that is specifically manufactured to give you fantastic froth and suds, I invite you to try some nature specialties cocktails.